Welcome to Podcast 1-1, Point Line Plane. Points. To draw a point, we draw a dot. The size of a point is irrelevant. They don't really have size, but we draw something. So this is how we draw points. But to communicate, we need labels. So using capital printed labels, now we can talk about each point. But if I did this and said look at point B, we wouldn't know which point we were talking about. So never, ever use the same label in one sketch. Capital printed letters, labels for points. Lines. To draw a line, we draw something straight with arrows because lines go forever in both directions. If we have more than one line and we need to communicate which one we're talking about, we need a label. So for lines, we use small, cursive, or script, however you'd like to say it. Small script letters. Small L, small M, and we're all going to make these different, so do your best. So now I'm looking at line L, line M. But points could be on these lines. Not necessarily, but they could be. And how many points are on a line? Infinitely many dots. And points have labels. So now we're looking at a more complex picture. And if I said class, look at line L, we know which one I mean, but I have another method. I could say look at the line that contains the points A, B. Or we would say look at line A, B. And this is a symbolism that would stand for this picture over here. But two points are good enough. We would never use three. I don't need A, B, C. So please don't give me every point you see. Two. We'll do it. You could reverse those letters and say look at line B, A. So this would be called line E, F or line F, E. Collinear. Collinear is an adjective that describes the idea of things that can be on the same line. So, points can obviously be lined up. So we could say that these three points, A, B, C, are collinear. The line doesn't have to be drawn. It's just sort of a visual approximation. Of course, if the line is drawn, that would clearly emphasize that they are collinear. So here is an example of points that are not lined up. As a group of four, these are non-collinear points. Collinear, lined up. Planes. Planes are flat surfaces that go forever. Imagine a piece of paper that's going forever. To draw that, we draw something like this. Rectangles aren't uh, as useful. We want to create some kind of sense of depth, so we angle it off. So here's a picture of a plane. Specifically, this one's called a horizontal plane because it has horizontal edges. This one would be a vertical plane because it has vertical edges. So planes can go in different directions. To label these planes, this plane could be called, and we use capital script, like capital N, capital L, plane N, plane L. Things can be on the planes, things could be going through planes, and here it almost becomes artistic on how to draw these types of pictures. Lines could be on the plane, like this, points can be on the plane. But to try to draw things that are not on the plane, we might need a more complex picture. An alternative way of naming planes is using points. To best describe this, I'm going to need several planes. Draw the following, a rectangle followed by a rectangle behind it of the same size and then connect the corners. This is what we'd call a prism, a three-dimensional box. You might even call it a cube if they're all squares. So I have six planes, a uh, top, a bottom, ceiling, floor, and four walls. I'm going to give all these corners names, just sort of randomly. That's uh, supposed to be a G. There. If I wanted to name the top of the box, I would use the corners. So the name for the plane on the top is plane, use the word plane, and then the corners, A, B, C, D. Yes, technically planes go forever, but it's kind of common to see this shape. 
Now, I didn't have to use every corner. If I had just stated plain A, B, C, it would have been really clear I meant the top of the box. Of the six, it's the only one using those three letters. But if I had only said plain A, B, I might have been talking about this left-handed wall of the box. So two letters, or even one letter, of point names would not do it. So, we used to use capital script letters moments ago, and now we have this option of using points. So the top of the box, A, B, C. That would imply the top of the box, or perhaps it's easier, easier to use all of the letters. If I wanted to name the left-handed wall, I would call it A, B, F, or A, B, F, E. So naming planes using capital script letters, like capital N, to name the top of the box, or using the points. Coplanar. Coplanar, just like collinear, means things that are on the same plane. So if I want to put things on the plane, here, points are on the same plane. Or perhaps even lines and points are on this plane. But if I have multiple planes, that can be a little more challenging. Let's look at the sketchpad file that goes with this lesson. I'm going to place these points in this three-dimensional prism. Are these points coplanar? Well, if there's a plane that contains all four of them, the answer would be yes. And here's the plane. This plane holds those four points because they're all on the top of the box. Coplanar. Here's another example of coplanar. Are these four points all on the same plane? Here's the most typically missed question. These four corners don't seem to be on one of the six planes. But that doesn't mean they're not coplanar. It's possible that a plane could have wedged through the box. And now we see that those four corners are actually on a plane, just not a plane drawn. So coplanar doesn't mean the plane is drawn. Coplanar means that they are or can exist on a plane. Coplanar. And to have points that are not on the same plane, that would be non-coplanar. For example, this, two, three, this point right here would not be coplanar with the other three. So those four points as a group would be non-coplanar. So in review, this podcast deals with points, capital printed letters, lines, using small script letters, or if points are available, we can use the capital printed point letters to name the line. Collinear means points are lined up. Planes, flat surfaces that go forever, so we draw these sort of boundaries, horizontal, vertical. Objects can be on planes or through planes, but capital script letters describe planes. We can use points to name that plane, and we can use uh, at least three, never two, and then this idea of being coplanar, in which case we want things to be on the same plane. Can you imagine a plane that contains the points, whether it's drawn or not? Again, the sketchpad activity for this lesson would best describe it. It's fabulous. Ah, right, here it is. A plane that contains these four corners of the box. Could be a diagonal plane. It's possible. Your imagination is required. Thus concludes Podcast 1-1.